if you are wanting to start a business in 2021 then you need to be thinking digital first hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is andy so and i'm just out here trying to live simply make money and help others do the same today i wanted to answer a question that i get all of the time and that is how do i start where do i begin so today in this video i'm going to talk about 10 is it 10 so today in this video, I will take you through eight steps that you need to go through to start an online business in the year 2021. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. So step number one is that you need to decide what decide what business you want to start and now this might sound like something that's very obvious but if you're anything like me and have very many ideas swirling around your brain all the time this can be a little bit tricky but i don't think that starting multiple projects at the same time is a good idea a startup business is like having a baby i don't know what having a baby is like but i imagine that it's very much like having a baby and it requires a lot of attention so i would advise you to decide on one thing that you want to do and pursue that until you know you get it at a stage where it can maybe run itself a little bit and doesn't require your input as much so the first thing to do is decide what business you want to start what idea you're going with the second step you need to take is to write a business plan. Now, I'm not talking about the traditional like 40 page business plan that, you know, we were taught to create in high school. That's not what I'm talking about at all. There are very many templates now that you can do like a business plan on a page where it's a mind map or where you just need to fill in certain things and it's like two pages long. For me, this step is not necessarily about having this really long document that details every single thing about your business. I don't think at this step that that's necessary. What this is about is more just sorting out your business model for yourself figuring out for yourself how your business is going to work how you're going to make money who's going to do what so make a business plan not to have to submit it to someone to get funding but for you to be able to figure out the inner workings of your new business for yourself so step two is create a business plan i have in the past used this mind map business plan when i've started a new venture i can't remember what it's called but i'm going to look for it and link it in the description below the third thing that you need to do is to validate your idea and that means talking to the people around you to figure out if this is a necessary business of course a business has to serve a purpose in the world in society in your family for your friends somehow so you need to talk to the people that would be your potential customers or clients and figure out whether there's a need for your business and whether your idea works and has value and yeah so validate your idea talk to people if you can do a little bit of a trial maybe if you're starting for instance an online course you could open that course up to 10 people on your social media open it up to them for free and have them feed back to you it's really important to validate your idea there's no point in moving forward with your idea if you talk to people and they're like that doesn't make sense or that's not really something that people need or can you actually make money doing that so this is a really important step talk to the people around you talk to people who would be your potential customers or clients and figure out if your idea is valid so once you've validated your idea and you know that it's all systems go this is a great idea people need it people want it it's gonna work i'm gonna make money the next thing to do is to sort out all your paperwork that means register during your business sorting out your tax getting a bank account if you need one which you, i would suggest i do have a video about all the documents that you need to get started for an online business or an e-commerce business you can find that up here so if you're unsure of all the documentation that you need all the paperwork that you need to get started with an online business i would suggest going over and watching that video but yeah step number four is sort out your paperwork step number five would be to set up shop now if you were starting a physical business you would find a shop space to rent or an office space to rent buy a desk buy whatever you needed to get going for an online business setting up shop
shop is a little bit different it looks like setting up a social media presence it looks like setting up a website it looks like making content to drive traffic to wherever you need it to go to get things going for your business so set up shop build a website, create content, set up social media accounts, and just really build and solidify your online presence as an online business. Number six is you need to set up your finances. Part of the paperwork step is getting a business bank account and setting up, um, what's the word, tax setting up tax but what i would also suggest doing is getting some sort of accounting software the truth is if you're just starting out you're probably not going to have the budget to have a full-time accountant or that kind of financial help so i would look to some sort of financial accounting software i personally use wave apps i'm currently looking to move to quickbooks wave apps is free quickbooks is paid and it has a little bit more features but if you're starting out wave apps is great you can link it to your bank account you can scan receipts to add new expenses and it really does a great job of tallying up what you're spending what's coming into the business you know what's happening so a really important step would be to set up your finances you can set it up so that whatever comes in 30 percent of that is safe so you can pay your tax and not get into trouble and all of that good stuff so make sure you have a system even if you're just using excel to keep track of your business's finances number seven build a sales machine just like with any other business a traditional business as well the success of your business depends on sales and getting sales is a matter of driving visibility for your business and then converting that visibility into sales or into leads now if you were setting up a brick and mortar store for instance you would drive visibility by putting up signs you would drive visibility by putting up posters or billboards and the same is true for an online business you need to somehow get visibility for your business and there are many strategies that you can use to do this you can use content marketing you can use social media or digital ads you can use influencers if that makes sense for your business you can get digital PR and that means you know getting featured in an online publication you can build an email list and use that to directly get visibility for your business but the next step in creating a sales funnel is then figuring out how you will turn that visibility into sales for example for my business izulu which is an online marketplace there are a few things that we do in our sales funnel to make sure that the sale is completed these things include content marketing they include email marketing email automations they include sign up offers so for instance if someone signs up on our website they get 15 percent of their first purchase we have email automations that make sure that customers who are putting things in their cart and then leaving them behind are called back to say hey buddy come finish your order or you know we have a sequence of emails for abandoned carts where it reminds you about two hours after you've abandoned the cart that hey you left something in your cart and then two days later it gives you an offer for 15 percent off to complete whatever you know that purchase was that you left in your account so we've built a funnel trickling down all the way to conversion and so you need to figure out what that looks like for you what i've just said isn't uh, exactly our direct sales funnel what I've, i'm trying to do is give you some examples of what can be included in your sales funnel to complete the sale for you so you need to figure out how you will firstly get visibility and then turn your visibility in to sales that's called a sales funnel and it's a key part of your marketing and your advertising the eighth thing that you need to do is to get help or grow your team now i know that growing your team might not be possible right off the bat given that these things cost money but one thing that i would definitely advise is to get some sort of help and this is something that i didn't learn until much later on in my entrepreneurial journey and that is that you can't do everything what was important for me to learn is that i can't do everything 
wow there are specialists around me that can do things better than i can some things so there's a much more value in enlisting the help of someone who's a specialist who can get something done quickly effectively the way that it needs to be and get it right the first time so that it actually saves you money and saves you time and stress so i would really encourage you to where you can get help if that means outsourcing the build of your website then do it i i don't want to be shady but i see a lot of websites where people like dm me and say this is my website please look at it whatever and i know that there are many open source platforms that allow us to build our websites ourselves these days but the fact is that just because we can build the website doesn't mean we can build the website so just because there's a there's platforms that allow us to build our own websites doesn't mean we are website builders so i've looked a lot at a lot of e-commerce websites especially where just i look at it i'm like i wouldn't buy from this so it sucks but some things for them to go right they need to be done right so get the help you need do it pay them work out a deal get it done properly the whole thing about an online business is that those things can have such a like a bearing on the success of your business people don't trust websites or social media accounts that are sloppy and look like they haven't been done professionally and with care and thought and all of those things so get help where you need it so <laughs> i actually just realized that that was my last point i didn't I don't know why I didn't click, but that was my last point. So those are the eight things that you need to do to start a business in 2021. I nearly said 2018. I don't know where my mind is at. Now, if you want to start an online business and aren't really sure what to do, I do have a video with 10 ideas of online businesses that you can start in this very year. Year. online business for me provides the opportunity to get started or um, to access business and entrepreneurship without needing major budget nowadays we can sell online we can sell on our instagram pages we can sell on a website we can sell on facebook and that means that the cost of getting started is a lot less covid also really accelerated the whole online agenda and changed the way that we do business and do life and so really online business is the future and i think that if you are wanting to start a business in 2021 then you need to be thinking digital first so i really hope that that insight and those tips on how to get started are going to be helpful for you guys in your journeys towards starting businesses and getting that paper so if you did like this video and found it helpful please do give me a thumbs up so i know that it is real comment below and tell me what are your business aspirations for 2021 are you starting a new business are you digitizing an existing business are you pivoting a business that you already have and run because you've seen an opportunity in a different space let me know what you're going through business wise right now i will give you a little bit of insight and tell you that i'm about to launch a little something new in my business as a part of izulu and i'm really excited about it so if you guys would do want to keep up with what's happening be sure to follow my business accounts on social media it's at izulu.shop on both instagram and facebook and you can also visit us at www.izulu.shop subscribe on our website to keep up with all our news if you subscribe you also get 15 percent off of your first purchase so it's a win-win for everybody in yeah um i never know how to end videos like i feel like they just end randomly but yeah i don't know thank you so much for watching till the end i really do appreciate it remember to like comment and subscribe if you wish to and i'll see you again soon